Because when you're an asshole, it doesn't matter how right you are. Nobody wants to give you the satisfaction. I know. Everyone wants people they like to be right. That's why popular people are f***ing dumb. So, I was recently tagged in this story. And some of you may be curious as to why I stopped covering Project Veritas exposés. And simply because it's what we already know. Oh, CNN had the worst case of TDS? No shit. Yeah, we already knew this. But because I am a dancing monkey, I will run through this, uh, well, at least the beginning of this expose. Because thank you, Project Veritas, for tossing all of the real meat and potatoes in the front of the video so I don't have to spend but so much time, you know, going through your narration. And with that being the case, let's get it popping. I think we got him through this term. We would always show shots of him jogging. Him in aviator shades and like a, like you paint him as a young geriatric. Okay, so framing, guys. We've had this conversation on the channel multiple times. Everything is about framing when it comes to perception and how and how you see things as opposed to how things really are and what he is describing mr uh charlie chester here really wow that's a lot that's, a, that's some strange generation right um uh, the the cnn technical director what he's basically spelling out is how they framed Biden as, you know, this young, still got it, go get him, ger uh, geriatric, who, yeah, he's older, but he's wearing aviator shades and looking cool, yeah? <laughs> they would have tossed him on a skateboard like Beto O'Rourke if they could have, seriously. We were creating a story there that we didn't know anything about, you know, we were, so that's, that's So, yeah, we were creating a story about Trump's health that they had absolutely no clue about. Um, once again... This is the same uh, network that employs Brian Stelter, or Brian Stelter, and Don Lemon, and really, and, and really, one of the things that just gets my goat when it comes to CNN is how they elevated stories such as the Stormy Daniels and elevated what's his name, Michael Avenatti. Oh my God! Like he could be the next president. He could run against. Like, at that point, guys, I think that was around the time when I, uh, when, when I switched to this format and created this channel, cause it's like, yo, this is, it's so ridiculous. I, I stopped paying CNN any mind, any attention long before, um, Trump got, uh, before, uh, the, the heist took place. I'll put it to you like that. I think that's probably it. Look what we did. We got Trump back. I am a hundred percent going to say it. And I you yeah, you hear that, right? I mean, we did it. We did it. We sat here and, we, like, as far as I'm concerned, you're sitting there celebrating the fact that you kind of sold the nation up a river. But hey, I don't want to. I don't want to go against TOS. So that's all we're. Oh, all I got to say about diet. Oh crap! Oh no. Let's get back to the to where we were. Yeah, a little further. Oh, no. There we go. I think that's what we did. We got Trump back. I am 100% going to say it. And I 100% believe it. That if it wasn't for saying it, I don't know that Trump would have got voted out. I think you're giving yourself maybe a little bit too much credit. I mean, shout out to you know, Georgia Democrats, right? Or, um,. Or, or like basically all the urban sectors. You know what, CNN? Uh, how dare you? How dare you, CNN, take credit away from black women? Because, well, I mean, from the Maxine Waters and, uh, and the Black Lives Matter leaders and all of these other... CNN, how dare you, huh? That That's you just smelling your own farts there, okay? Because it was a team effort between y'all um, every and literally every other media organization on the planet, as well as your quote-unquote activist groups and the in the CCP and the yeah, commun and, and communist pals and all this other fun and and, and the corporations that are so wokey woke and screaming Black Lives Matter. Didn't um Foot Locker Foot Locker gave Black Lives Matter two hundred million dollars and guess what? They still got burnt down during the during the Dwayne Wright uh riots so yeah uh cnn don't, don't don't do that don't do that how don't you don't you dare take credit away from 
the rest of y'all turncoat son of bitches who honestly should probably be brought up on treason charges. This was to get Trump out of office, right? Without saying it, that's what it was, right? So our next thing is going to be for climate change. No, oh, yeah, and you notice how they sitting there going hard. They've gone hard with the climate change. Like, they've gone hard with the Asian hate propaganda. They go hard with the BLM and and, 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 and painting everything in a racist system. Like, if you, if you at this point are still watching CNN, there's literally nothing I can do for you. There's not a damn thing anyone can do for you if you're still out here in these streets, right? And I'm not talking about on the internet. I'm talking about in real life, taking CNN seriously. This is ridiculous. Do you think it's going to be just like a lot of like fear? Like, I'm a- yeah, fear sells. No shit, Sherlock. It's so upsetting because I'm not going to sit here and break TOS. I'm not going to sit here and say anything that's going to get, you know, Massa Susan upset. But what I will say is that like they used it and i've been it's the same thing i've been saying they've used fear over the past over the entire year which is a contagion i did a video one moment <clears throat> i did a video last year of steven crowder and in that video steven crowder is talking to a young woman about you know the 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 alphabetical T's and this alphabetical T is a black guy or a black woman whatever it wants to call itself it comes out and just starts screaming and wild and everything else like that and it being very emotional Crowder to his credit is sitting there like bro like I mean let, let, let's have a logical a uh, sensible conversation here but then the woman catching on to that guy's emotions she was like, oh, no, no, he's right, he's right, he's right. Because that is female nature, right? And so that's what CNN has basically done for the entirety of 2020. Like, even before, let's make, let's be clear about this, long before 2020, but especially in 2020 and now in 2021, just using fear to really control people. And that's, I think, one of the saddest things about all of this, how everything's played out. Yourselves. No one ever says it, those things out loud, but it's obvious. All right. So, yeah, I uh, I think that I've done that, that we've gone far enough in this and thank you project uh we're gonna leave it with this uh thank you project veritas for you know going and getting this information like i said though the reason i don't cover project veritas the way i used to is because once again this is shit we already know boys this is shit we already know particularly if you've been listening for any extended period of time you know so with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like it, toss it a like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you, sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice, you want to get videos like this every single day, share because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch, you and like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications. Get something from Teespring. Check me out on Patreon as well. Links in the description. Actually, go in the description box and do damage and speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? This is utterly ridiculous uh, that they like, it, it, like that it's not just known at this point. And it, it really is. It's becoming far more known because cnn's ratings are just completely if trust me that last little crowd that they had of people with tds yeah even they falling off they're just like you know what okay yeah whatever stop cut it out but you may disagree well you can't really disagree about their ratings but you can disagree with my premise on them just being awful and not written unfortunately no disrespect to project veritas just once again this is shit that we already know but you may disagree. Let me know what you think in the comments. Until the next one.
Over the next 90 minutes, I'd like to show you that all your problems can be solved by my penis.